In 1633, a trial took place in Rome that would shake the scientific world and mark a turning point in the relationship between science and religion. It was the trial of the famed astronomer Galileo Galilei, a man who dared to challenge the Church's view of the universe. Galileo was no stranger to controversy. By the early 1600s, uh, he had made remarkable strides in the field of astronomy. Using telescope he designed himself, Galileo observed celestial bodies and made it a groundbreaking claim. The Copernican theory was correct. The Sun, not Earth, was the center of the universe. In 1610, Galileo published the Starry Messenger, revealing his observations of the moons of Jupiter, which confirmed that not everything revolved around the Earth. Soon after, he observed the phases of Venus, offering more proof that the planets orbited the Sun. This heliocentric model flew in the face of traditional geocentric model supported by the Catholic Church, which believed the Earth was the center of creation. But Galileo's discoveries weren't just scientific, they were revolutionary. They posed a challenge to the power of the Church, which viewed Earth-centered universe as divinely ordained. The heliocentric theory implied that the Church could be wrong about the very structure of God's creation. In 1616, uh, the Church responded by banning Copernican works, and Galileo was ordered to stop defending heliocentrism. For a while, Galileo complied, but in 1632 he published dialogue concerning the two chief world systems. Though written as a conversation between advocates of both geocentrism and heliocentrism, it was clear that Galileo favored the sun-centered universe. To make matters worse, the character who defended the geocentric model was portrayed as simple-minded, a move many saw as insult to the Pope himself. Galileo was summoned to appear before the Roman Catholic Inquisition in 1633 charged with heresy for teaching and defending heliocentrism. Under threat of torture, Galileo was forced to recant his views. He was found vehemently suspect of heresy and sentenced to house arrest, where he would spend the last eight years of his life. Despite his recantation, Galileo never abandoned his belief in the heliocentric.